What's up, YouTube? What's your boy, King Tyson? I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as you always. Watch full video. Polo G got exposed by this girl recently, supposedly before he met his current girlfriend, he was messing around with this girl. Well, she's claiming that recently Polo G has been calling and texting her. Someone said, you had him first. Oh, okay, but she's with him right now. Respect their relationship. The girl responded, respect their relationship. Why is it my fault? Why is it not his fault? Are you crazy? I've been living my life and he calls and texts me. If he's cheating on her, then why are we not blaming the dude? Why are we blaming me? Y'all clearly see. Because they're blaming you because you the one that brought it to the net. Like, people got to stop, I don't know, like, I understand, like, I don't know, matter of fact, I can't even understand it. I, I was going to say, I, I can understand, you know, the point of, you're probably getting irritated. He's bugging you, so therefore you are, right, let me expose you, so therefore you're going to stop. But it don't take for that, for somebody to stop. Unless somebody is a 100% stop. I'm going to say stop. I ain't going to finish the word, but y'all know what I mean. If, that, if they're one of them type of persons, then yeah, all right, yeah, they're not going to stop. But I don't see him being that type of way, especially when you have something that can be exposed. You are somebody that can be exposed either for money or just to just to expose you. But that's I don't I don't know, bro. Like at the end of the day, if somebody is trying to trying to mess with you, they have a significant other, and you don't want them. Again, if they're not on on a stalk type of stuff, block them, block them. Easy or hey, DM the girl. If, if you want to go, hey, that, you know, to that extent, DM the girl. Why are you bringing it to the internet? He's blowing up my phone and texting me first, not me chasing him. If anything, I block him so I do respect their relationship. I tell him to go home and he doesn't want to. Now, Polo G did DM her. He said, your dude broke talking about you blocking me. You're a real life weirdo. Fuck out of here. Can't even come around you. Just a real weirdo. All right. The girl responded publicly. You in a whole relationship worried about the next dude I'm on. Anyway, Buster, you know where the crib is. You could drop my ish off. Now, it seems like at first the girl was okay with talking to Polo G while he was still with his current girlfriend. But then when she realized that he wasn't leaving his current girlfriend for her she ended up getting a dude to make him jealous which he did get jealous oh my god bro like oh sometimes you're just good enough just to be the side piece to somebody bro sometimes you're they don't see you in that light that's sad, but that's sad. They ended up getting into it, and now she's trying to expose him publicly. That's what I'm getting from it. But y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to that. Ty Taylor did speak on Audacia accidentally leaking her pregnancy. And do I think that she leaked my pregnancy on purpose? I don't feel like she did it on purpose, but I do feel like she just wasn't considerant when it came to like she did it on purpose, but I do just feel like she was not considerant at all like when she was filming like how I go back and look at my footage before I post it she doesn't do that so she would film and just would not be paying attention to what she's posting you know I'm pregnant you know it's a possibility yeah that ain't that ain't that ain't right though if again you know she's pregnant just like before we even find out that you know that she was 100% pregnant you knew this whole time that she wasn't trying to break the because I'm quite sure she told you I'm quite sure hey you're being tagged right alongside of her with the, with the other post about, hey, she said she has five words. What is she really pregnant? I'm quite sure you, you've seen all that. So why don't you just, hey, like, this is how easy it is. As, as a YouTuber, as a YouTuber, this is, how, this, is how, this is how very easy it is. I'm filming something I don't want to film in my video. That's it. Plain and simple. That's it. Put the phone down. Put the camera down. That's it. It's not that hard. That I might be in the background or I just might be somewhere in the vicinity of your camera frame. So just double check. And I just felt like she wasn't doing that enough because, you know, when you're pregnant, you get pregnancy brain. It's all type of stuff that be going on in your mind. And I just felt like she just wasn't just being considerate of that. The one that was always catching it, or the fans was the ones that was always catching it, and then it's like she would try to go back and delete it and and try to doctor the situation, but it was like it was too late. It was already out there. It was already floating. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie though. I can see that happening one time. All right, first time. Oh, oh, my bad. I, I didn't add that out. So now you know to watch what you're filming. What's being put in the videos, and when you go over the videos to make sure 
if you did end up leaving something in, to clip it out. That wasn't the first time. If, I, again, if it happened one time, hey, we're we're at the end of the day, we're human. We make we make mistakes, but multiple times, yeah, she she don't care. In, in my opinion, mind you, this is on the outside looking. This is my opinion. I'm not saying this for a guaranteed fact, but in my opinion. She don't care. She don't care about you being pregnant. She don't care about you trying to hide it. She don't care about your gender reveal. She don't care. She probably care on the on the aspect of hey, this is my sister. I care about because I love, but I don't care about the internet. The internet no. I don't care about her secrets being <laughs> brought to the I don't care on that aspect. Like, and that's that's kind of crazy. You know, I just I was annoyed by it because it's like, damn, how many times are you just not going to pay attention? get back to you guys when I finish it. So A&P got kicked out of their penthouse after only being there for four days. Originally, the people that owned the penthouse didn't even want them in the penthouse, but then they agreed at the last minute that they would have them come and live there. Now, A&P paid a security deposit and first month rent, which is non-refundable, but supposedly AJ felt some type of way about the guy constantly popping up. He would pop up and just walk in while they're sleeping throughout the day, and he would just tell them, oh, this is dirty, this needs to be clean. And what type of landlord just pop up in your crib and just walk Walk in your crib. Yes, this is your crib originally, but once I signed the lease, this is my crib now. And yesterday morning, he couldn't get in because I think somebody put an extra locket on the door so he wouldn't come in the house because he was just popping up at the house. And I guess he must have felt some type of way. He made a big deal out of it. I don't know if an argument was exchanged between agent and the landlord, but the landlord said that he wanted them out that night. So they ended up moving out of the penthouse last night. The owner of the crib pulled up, woke me up out my sleep without notice which you're not allowed to do, gang. I got a couple rentals. I know you can't just pull up without providing the people at the property sufficient notice, which is established in the lease. It could be seven days, it could be three days, it could be 24 hour notice. He didn't do none of that. He pulled up. Honestly, he's been pulling up every day. Today, he was especially upset because he wasn't allowed in and everything kind of just blew up. You can't just keep popping up, bro. So because we didn't allow him in. Yeah, he calls it on himself. It's like, bro, come on. You rented, you rented the house to these people, but Hey, he might have just used them for um for for the quick promo, especially when they they you know they showed the 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 penthouse the video that you know it's in New York. So it, like just say if you wanted a uh, a moment of hey, a celebrity had had this. Just say if it's a jacket, it's a it's a it's a car. You want to sell a car? This car was originally owned by such and such. Oh my God, they had this car. That's my favorite actor. I gotta have it. Somebody wants to buy the house, wants to rent the house. Oh, AMP was in here. Who's AMP? Oh, it's just this group of guys. They're young, but they're, you know, they're turned, they're lit, they're having fun, making money. Oh my God, that's my favorite group. Let me buy the house because they were in it. <laughs> the whole thing, ah, uh, ah. Uh, so we're trying to get our money back for the whole penthouse. We don't know if that's possible, but we dead ass had to move out by tonight, gang. We got a few days of time before we got to get ready for the next spot. The problem is, is getting one, bro. You know you can't just spawn into a new crib. It's hard, especially one that has like six plus bedrooms for all of us to be able to stream in and stuff like that. It's a, it's a, it's a bad situation. I'm not gonna lie to you. We get packed the f up, G. They getting us out of here. I just don't understand why they getting us out of here. Cause it's just, I just feel like we ain't this shit. <laughs> like, what the f have y'all seen in the penthouse stream so far that you like? Damn, that was crazy. And them niggas can't do that. Like the trap house, I could understand the trap house. I ain't gonna lie, chat. The trap house, I could hundred percent understand. I'm like, what do you mean we like? That's probably why he was on their head too. That's why he kept popping up because he seen, he probably seen the video. He probably seen the video on Twitter, on Instagram. Oh, this what y'all do? I'm not, I'm not about to do this in my house. Why, why you keep saying that? He like, nah, bro. We fuck up. We just get kicked out, huh? That that bro. We up uh, like ancient that's the agent dog Davis that now <laughs> we all that we just get kicked out. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's our last day, bro. We fuck. I don't know where to stay now. I go downstairs. I see the whole A and P in a circle, my Duke Davis, um, agent Chris Phantom. I come downstairs, bro. We kicked out. We have to pack all our stuff.
So Mr. Beast is being called out after his best friend Chris, who does YouTube videos with him, got exposed with talking to an underage kid named Lava. Now Chris was 20 at the time and Lava was around 13, 14 years old and Lava was a big fan of Mr. Beast and Chris and Chris knew this and he made Lava a mod on his Twitch. Now Lava, who's 13 at the time and Chris, who's 20 at the time, was making inappropriate comments back and forth publicly to the point where this YouTuber ended up seeing it and he screenshot it and he actually did a whole video. Now at the time the video was made, it didn't blow up and nobody really seen it but recently it hit Twitter and TikTok and it has been going viral and a lot of people have been questioning Chris and Lava's relationship. Lava did speak out, he took to Twitter, he said, Chris did nothing wrong, what's actually disgusting is you guys twisting things and making me a victim. Chris messages to me were sent in public discord services. That's, no mind you, hey, if you're doing something with a minor brother, hey, you, <laughs> I don't want to get too violent, I don't want to get, I don't want to say nothing that's too violent, but yeah, y'all know, y'all know, but for this other dude, for this other dude, I don't, I don't know, like, I wasn't going to say you should have minded your mother effing business, but then again, if you see a kid going, you see somebody who you know is a minor having a conversation with somebody that's wrong, and you know it's wrong, sometimes you do gotta, you know, you gotta be the wrong person and step up. Sometimes you do gotta do that, because sometimes a kid, a kid will either put themselves in a position or get put into a, uh, a situation that you know is not right. So, I'm gonna just leave it alone. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it alone. My only thing, my main thing, my main, main thing is leave Mr. Beast's name out of this. Like, no me writing, no me writing, but bro, this is one dude that we see constantly, constantly doing something good. Yes, it's on the internet. Yes, he's, he's making content out of it. But you gotta understand is, the content helps him pay for them things that he's doing for free. Building a hundred houses is not easy, it's not cheap. People gotta get paid. You might wanna give them away, but the people who, who you're having build it wanna get paid. So therefore, bro, like, come on, man. Leave, leave Mr. Beast out of all negativity. The group, but everyone is framing it as if it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Chris literally did nothing wrong. Now, Keemstar tweet because he got connected with Lava through Mr. Beats. Lava said, I'm not groomed by Chris. Lava also said, I did not meet Chris by myself. I met Chris and the Mr. Beast crew with my family present. Lava also goes on to say, I ran a Discord with Chris when I was 13 and edgy inappropriate jokes were said. That's it. And Chris, who's also being accused, he goes by Ava now. He tweet, he said, to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable and I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact hundreds of people who worked at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Now, an employee who recently stopped working at Mr. Beast studio did speak out and allegedly he claims this is only the tip of the iceberg. My name is Dawson. I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Use a beat, bruh. I was about to say, I was about to go in. Use a B, bruh. Use a B. Use it for sure. B. Like, you waited till something happened to finally, oh, this is not the very, this is the only, this. nigga, go sit in a corner and. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I hate people that do that, bro. If you got something to say, if you seeing something wrong, Speak on it. Speak on it. Don't wait to say, oh, somebody else said something. Because the first dude, he said something. Video never didn't do no traction, no viral, no nothing. Now it's trending. Now, oh, let me say something now. I, all the stuff I've I been doing about. They, what, they should, what, they, what they should start doing. When people do that, the person who trying to throw your, your, your allegations that you are that you knew about into the, into the mix, you, whatever consequence that the person gets, you should get too because you knew. You knew. If this is not the very first thing, this is not the only thing, and you know about other things, whatever happens, you deserve that consequence too. Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much 
And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. That's sad, bro. That's sad, bro. That's that's truly sad. It's like they was... F <laughs> it's like people picked and was going through things to find something. We got to have something. This is the only man that we see out here doing good. We got to find something to get rid of him. We got to. It's no way possible that he's going to continue doing this thing. He's making other rich people look bad. Crazy, right? Man, bro. Like, people. Hey, even me. Even me. Hey, I don't even know. Like, <laughs> I probably made a tweet. I probably wasn't supposed to. I probably wasn't supposed to make it something, bro. Like, I probably said something in the video I probably wasn't supposed to say. Because it's going to be something, bro. If I make it, it's going to be something. Somebody going to find something. And it's like that for everybody, bro. Everybody. Even when Go Red uh, finally made it or finally started, you know, extra winning. They bring up a tweet from her from way back then. She said this about Yo Gotti. Now she's signing it. Like, bro.